Hi everyone, I'm Courtney, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the AG cuff fill. It is both a cuff inflator and manometer. Now, the reason we'd like to use one of these in our patients that have been intubated is just to make sure that the cuff pressure is nice and safe, somewhere between 20 to 30 centimeters of water. If it is overinflated, then what ends up happening is there's quite a lot of high pressure pushing on the capillary mucosa of our trachea. That can cause irritation, it could cause ischemia, it could cause tracheal tears, it could even cause necrosis of the tracheal tissue. That's why if we use an AG cuffle, we can make sure that we've inflated the cuff to a safe pressure, and we can also monitor the pressure of that cuff throughout the anesthesia. So you can use the AG cuff fill on any airway device that has a cuff. So I've got an endotracheal tube here, but you can use it on a tracheostomy tube, on a laryngeal mask airway, and also on a supraglottic airway device. So after this has been placed in our patient and we want to inflate the cuff, all you need to do is pull back on the cuff fill, turn it on here, which is just the yellow button. It'll blink and show two zeros, which means there's currently zero pressure that it's reading, which is correct because it's open to the room. And then we just attach it to our cuff inflation line. Then we just start to inflate that cuff while looking at the pressure. And I'm going to stop when I get to about 20 centimeters of water. And then I just unattach. And our cuff is now safely inflated in our patient. We can also use our AG cuff fill as a way to check the pressure in an ET tube that is already in place during anesthesia or we could use it to check the cuff of the tracheostomy tube in our patient that's an ICU. So what you want to do, which is different to when we wanted to inflate the cuff and we pull back on the AG cuff fill, is actually just push the plunger all the way to the very end, turn on the AG cuff fill, attach it onto our inflation line, and then we can read the pressure here. Now, if the pressure is too high or too low, we can take this as an opportunity to inflate or deflate the cuff. If you need to deflate the cuff, it's nice and easy. You can just pull straight back on the syringe. Alternatively, if you want to inflate the cuff, it's exactly like what we just did in the first video. Pull back, fill the AG cuff with air, attach it to the inflation line, and just top up. 